What's up guys, so we're gonna be making a tier list, a ranking of the most manipulative types. Now, um, remember, this is not quality of the manipulation, it's about the quantity. Okay, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. An idea given by Matthias, our community member. So let's get into it. So literal serpent, this is the maximum LARPing tier list. This is the, those are the people who play Dungeons and Dragons in their daily life, okay? They think they're part of the Skyrim experience. Again, LARP, cosplay, maximum, there's, there's no way around it. Now, the first one I would say is either this or this. Those are the two most likely types, in my opinion, to be literal serpents. It's a split, because I'm not too sure, right? And people say, why would you put SC base as, uh, at the top of the ranking, right? It's an SC base, uh, yeah. Also, it's an SC base discount. It's discounted SC base. But why SC? Well, mainly because you have a combination of SC, FI, and FE. What that does is FI is working for the purpose of SE. And what is SE about? SE is about more getting more influence, getting more territory, getting more status, climbing the social ladder. It's acquiring, it's all of that stuff, ambition, competition. So you have FI, which is about personal relations, right? Psychological distance. And all of that means is a person who is very good at gauging their psychological distance with other people. But it's a person who's good at people. It's a person who's good at people, excels in dealing with people. They can make you feel cozy. They'll make you feel cozy. They'll make you feel heard. They'll make you feel like, especially if you are an FI valuer. I, I'm FI polar. So if I see someone behaving that way to me, I either think it's cringe or it's corny. Or I think, I don't know what you're doing. I ain't gay. What, what's the issue here? You're being weird. You're trying to like kind of do this weird connection thing. It's weird. Uh, what's wrong with you? That's that was that's what crosses my mind, right? Now, if you ain't a bipolar, you're kind of in a messy situation because all the attitude of a bestie and trying to kind of act like your best friend and develop this personal bond, it might work on you, right? Little do you know, next day this SE is throwing you under the bus for a pragmatic reason because you know, sorry, FI is situational. So things are very fleeting for them. That's what people kind of forget. They think SE is like FI base. No, uh, sentiments, all of that thing, they flee. You know, sometimes they might have feelings for you. Sometimes they might not have feelings for you. You have an individual who is an archetype of a politician. They're a politician. So they also have a FIDEMO, which makes them more charismatic. They makes them more uh, capable of manipulating the emotional mood of the environment. Number two would be EIE. Now, I would say EIE, it's a split for me, EIE or SE, it's a split for me, but EIE because FE base, it's all, always about impacting the moods of others, trying to kind of elicit certain reactions, certain environmental reactions of the environment, right, again, elicit certain mood, manipulate the emotional atmosphere, you name it. Um, so that is always going to be there, but I think they're much more meticulous, they're much more controlled, and their manipulation has to do with maybe again have a, maybe having a vision for things and trying to kind of get people on their case mobilize people inspire people and move people around in an emotional way right inspire them and their heart that's what EIE is good at so again a, a cosplayer to the maximum degree uh, Dungeons and Dragons favorite game that's what is the second literal serpent third one would be guess what it's gonna be IEI. Now IEI, <laughs> IEI from this list, right? In my opinion, this is my opinion, uh, the best cosplayer. IEI is the winner of Dungeons and Dragons. The best cosplayer by far, probably because they they drag the least attention to themselves. And that's a big skill. You know, if you wanna be a Machiavellian, you know, then you probably don't want to drag the attention to yourself too much. Well, SEs do, and it can be very overt, and EIE is the same thing, because in EIE, they're much more explosive with passion. It's, they're more on your face, oh, honestly. They're more on your face, they're more obvious. With an IEI, no. It's kind of, the best way to explain this, I would, I would have to use an analogy. An IEI is like that chick you meet in a church. From you know, an impression that you have from talking to her, you think she's a saint, you know, she's a virgin, she's probably, I don't know, you know, not experienced, she's a saint, she has all the values, she's amazing, she's kind, she's passionate, whatever, 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 and little do you know, 
In private, she is into blood play, dressing up as a furry and doing God knows what. Probably even preaching Satanism. That is the duality of an AI. They can make you believe one thing, what you see. You could never imagine this individual engaging in those behaviors. An AI is able to do that. So that's the most potent manipulative mixture because they have FE creative, which is more cautious, right? More cautious, not as in your face, not as obnoxious. And they have FI demo, which is the deadly weapon. That's their deadly weapon. Can make you feel cozy, can create that bond and closeness. They can judge this closeness with you. And again, portray, can portray themselves a certain way or evoke certain feelings in people much, much better at climbing and, and orienting themselves in such situations. And remember, both of those types are beta quadra. They're socially oriented and they are oriented, especially IE, towards the power dynamics and all of that. So even IEIs can be very mindful of those things. Oftentimes, an immature IEI probably PTSD many people and afterwards felt guilty. It's usually a pattern with IEIs. Oh, I didn't mean to hurt them and give them PTSD. Well, I'm confused. You gave them PTSD, but look how you behave, you know? An IEI, probably when they're immature, they don't see it. Master cosplayer. Congratulations, guys. You are good at what you do. Then we have ESC. Now, I went for ESC because, again, it's about likelihood being most manipulative, right? So I went with AES ESC because FE base, again, it's uh, going to be very always trying to elicit certain reactions, always trying to evoke certain reactions, certain emotions and impact people. So that's why I would go with ESC. Again, not as potent as an EIE because EIE is a... Uh, it's different. <laughs> An ESC manipulation can seem almost more oblivious and more harmless. EIE manipulation, often it is much more uh, visionary. It, it, again, it's more meticulous. And it is, most importantly, beta quadra. ESC is alpha quadra. So, <laughs> so it's beta and alpha. Huge difference. Then, I would say the power of FI creative and FE demo. Just like SC, but the difference here... IE is just a confused geek. Actually, I cannot even say geek because they're not geeks. They're more like flying helicopters and they're confused, right? So uh, it's any base. So it's not going to be as malicious and uh, in, the, in their pursuit of, of, you know, they're not going to climb the ladder and uh, develop certain network with people to get better. And, and you're not going to expect that. But still, you can expect quite manipulative behavior because they are great at people. They're great at people. And when you have a person who is great with people and they're great with dealing with pe people's sentiments, sadly, they'll probably very be very manipulated. They'd be prone to manipulative behaviors. LIE, right? I know some of you are surprised, but why would LIE, TE base and T, uh, FI suggest that maybe some LIEs are watching this and thinking, well, no, I'm not a cosplayer. I don't like Dungeons and Dragons. My motherfucking bad. That's where you belong. So... The reason, the reasoning I had for this LIE is, yes, it's not that they're so good at manipulation, right? But it's more so that they're going to be engaging in behaviors that kind of push them forward in whatever they're doing in any endeavor. Because they're logical people, they know how to operate within the system, they know how to take advantage of the system. Don't, rem don't forget, LIEs are three cores and seven cores, I mean SP7s. Con literally, it's called charlatanism, a type that's known for using abilities, intellectual abilities with manipulation to their advantage. And even three cores are much more manipulative than some of the other types, like ESI's SP1 or ESI's SP4. It's not even close. So LIE will be much more manipulative, again, than Machiavellian cosplayer. That's what the LIE is going to be. Like, again, right, read, read 48 Laws of Power, thinks he knows it all, right? Again, he kind of, you know, thinks he's a big boy. Now, with an SLE, there still is this SCTI ATE, so an FI Apollo. Now, in this case, like, oh, FI Apollo is not going to be as good. It's not going to be as good. Their approach to manipulation is going to be reliant heavily on systematic understanding of people. It's like watching National Geographic and you observe a bunch of fucking animals behaving a certain way. You draw patterns from the behaviors, you observe something, you use cognitive understanding of, okay, how does a person react in those situations? Okay, it's, it's basic psychology. So you understand, you try to see those patterns, but you lack new ones. You lack FI. So 
uh, oftentimes to any experienced cosplayer, Dungeons of Dragons Master, I.E.I. for example, you look sloppy. You, you look sloppy and it looks forced and you look pushy instead of manipulative. But an SE, SLE is an SE based individual. They're still very good at understanding power dynamics, understanding leverage, how to place themselves in certain positions. When someone is trying to uh, kind of pressure them into something or how to pressure other people. So they can understand those things, which I believe can make them more manipulative, right? Now you're going to be like, oh, well, by an ILE is going to be seven core. It's going to be SP7 too. It's possible. So an SLE is never going to be SP7. Yes, but it's not a good it's not a good enough of an argument to really kind of put ILE before the SLE because an ILE is still they don't value SE they're alpha quadra SLE values SE they you know again they value they are beta quadra and they're FI polar so I believe they're more likely to try to kind of take advantage of other people or manipulate certain situations unlike the ILE but ILE is still SP7. And they still have the FE mobilizing, they still have the, again, any base, FI poly, they can still kind of use their wit, verbal ability, their intellect to kind of kind of move situations in a certain way. And they're charlatans, again, SP7s, right? Very often ILEs. Alpha Quadra, SI base, ethical type. They're not going to be very manipulative, right? But they're still FE creative and FI demo. I, I, so I think they're much more likely to engage in the emotional manipulation than some other types that are more kind of autistic in a sense, right? Because they're still, they're like, they're like IEIs in that sense. There's the, FI, the FE and there's the, this FI. But Alpha Quadra values makes a huge difference. I don't think they're very high. I think they're probably one of the least manipulative ethical types, mainly because Alpha Quadra SI base Yes, they have FE um, creative and FI demo, which can make it can make them more manipulative than many of the other types, obviously, because it's an IEI, but they like the beta quadra values. So eh, harmless goody two shoes, often harmless goody two shoes, but still capable, still quite capable. Again, if you're not an ethical type, they can be still quite capable to to kind of understand people and move them a certain way, even if it's even if it's unconscious, because it doesn't matter. This list is not about conscious manipulation. As long as you are engaging in manipulative behavior, you are on the list. FI base, SC creative, they're not gonna be. They're gonna be very very aware of their sentiments. They're gonna be very aware of other people's sentiments, but they're not likely to be focused on you and try to move those things around and try to elicit certain reactions in you. I don't believe that is any SI at all. They're more likely to be guardians, right? Or more people who are more focused internally, focused on their internal sentiments and self-perfection and grind set, right? Being a Sigma male, that's more likely to happen with the SIs. Being an ethical type, in my opinion, I still have to place them above some other types, right? Because they're, they're just gonna be naturally is an ethical type you're gonna be more manipulative than many of the logical types. It's just a natural predisposition because you have such a good understanding of emotions, of other people's sentiments, of your connections with others. And unconsciously, as any feeler does, you cannot help but manipulate people. Many times I've seen feelers, feeling types, uh, engage in manipulation, engage in blatant manipulative behavior. Not like some malicious people, but they, they can't help it. And it's, I, it's I, you shouldn't take it too personally oftentimes. You know, okay, this person's trying to like kind of cosplay and manipulate, but don't get all twisted unless they, you know, they're really like trying to play into it. But it's a natural uh, behavioral response of many uh, feeling types to kind of start uh, engaging in the emotional aspect of things. And if you engage in the emotional aspect of things, sometimes there's going to be an element of manipulative behavior. It's just how it goes. That's life. Then I would say LSI, LSI because autism, right? Autism, and they're still a bit higher than the rest because FE suggestive. FE suggestive, SE ego, and beta quadra values kind of elevates them above the rest of the logical types here because they're still quite aware of how things will operate. But the autism of an LSI is quite problematic. It is quite problematic because they have a difficulty with FE. They're not the most charming and charismatic individuals. Like with an SLE, 
the reality is uh, NS Lee might be more dislikable, but it doesn't matter because he'll still elicit better reaction oftentimes in people, stronger reactions. He's going to be more charismatic. With an LSI, the FE factor is missing. So you are left with autism. And if you are a dick and you have autism, no one will like you. That's the reality of the situation. I'm sorry. You have so you need to compensate with something in this case, right? And people will be like, it's unfair. Just because he's funny doesn't mean he's bad. <laughs> he ain't crying. No, but that's life. That's life. You know, if you, sorry, if you have lacked the kind of natural predisposition or natural charisma or something and you think you can get away with stuff, you won't. But people will look better at you if you have certain... Uh, qualities they'll ignore the bad shit that's what people do people are insane i'm telling you pe humans are insane but that's where i'll put lsi then i'll put lsi here could be worse again could be worse they're still fi suggestive they're still te based but not unlike lie not charlatans not charlatans they're not sp7 they're not going to be an sp7 so charlatanism is out of the window there what is ask yourself this what is the anagram of a of, of an LLC. sp3 what is sp3 is sp3 some charlatan who wants to uh, manipulate people or tends to be manipulated no a goody two shoes a, a hard-working dad who goes to church every sunday to provide for his family so not very likely to engage in that behavior <laughs> so then we have the last tier and as you can see probably at the bottom you got some like good types and here i would put ili I'm going to put ILI because I, there are so many ILI cosplayers who love the image of an I'm a mastermind manipulator. Whoa. Like, no kid. Like, you are confused. You, I could, like, make million faces at the camera and you wouldn't, un you couldn't read my emotions. That's how much of a mastermind manipulator you are. I could make all kinds of faces. So happy. You would look completely like, ah. You'd be confused. You'd look like a fucking Oblivion NPC. So, no. I at least want to engage. I want to kind of play with that kind of idea. They're still SE suggestive and they're Gamma Quadra. So, they might try to engage in certain behaviors and understand things on a more analytical level to push themselves forward. But, again, I mean, this is we're dealing with... Those individuals can't understand humans, even if they tried. Like, it is... This is the bottom of the barrel here, boys. I'm sorry. Not everyone is equal uh, in this case. Then I'm going to go with an LII. Again, Master Geekism. Harmless. Very harmless. FE suggestive. Alpha Quadra TI base. No SE. What's more to say here? What is more to say here? Right? Come on, man. I don't even need to say anything. SLI. The least manipulative type of all. This is the guy who's a bum and he doesn't care. This is the guy who lives in a trailer and likes a simple life. The, he, there's no manipulation with an SLI. They don't give a fuck. It's SI based, TE creative, TI demo, FE polar, like and some like shit FI. No manipulation in with SLIs. Thank God, guys. SLIs. This is actually a good score for you guys. Being at the bottom here is a good thing. Good job. So anyway, that's it for today.